Hello, welcome back to Nemlet Pastures. Today we're going to make a bone broth out of chicken feet, chicken carcasses, chicken's liver and chicken necks. So this is going to be a proper nutrient dense bone broth. Um, perfect for breaking fast with if you're into fasting like me and Megan did at the moment or you just want that nutritional little drink to give your immune system a bit of a boost. So to start with, we've obviously got everything out of the freezer and defrosted it. These are our feet. They are unprocessed and um, washed. So before you do anything with them, you need to bring a pan to the boil and blanch them. So put them in boiling water, keep the water boiling for about 10 minutes. Whilst that's going on, we're gonna turn the oven on to 180. I've already done that. Meg's done that, because normally Meg does the broth, but she won't go on the film, so she's making me do it. So the oven's on, we're gonna roast the chicken carcasses and the necks. You can do them raw, straight in the slow cooker, but I think it's a bit of a nicer flavor if they're pre-roasted. Snippity snip snip. So, Action. Okay. So we put the legs already put the tray in the oven to get hot because we like to use uh, stainless steel um, and one way of using stainless to prevent the food from sticking is to preheat the oil on the pan before you add the food. So let's add these necks to the hot oil. Three second rule. Literally wetting itself over there. And now that's stuck. Right, so we've got two carcasses in each pack. So get rid of that, put them over there, wash your hands. And place in the oven for how long, Meg? Like half an hour, I guess. Half an hour? Yeah. No, never done a roasting bit before. Action. Right, <laughs> so the feet have now had 10 minutes um, blanching and they should be nice and clean. All of the dirt should be off. And we're just going to tip the water away carefully, not to burn yourself. Please excuse my camera woman, it's a bit erratic with the filming. Should have employed a real person then. Oh, right. Stinky feet. Oh, they look delicious. Now they should be clean and ready for the slow cooker, which will be the next job once the carcasses and necks are roasted. So we'll just leave them there a minute while we wait. Do you want me to start? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Right, how long has it been in for now? About half an hour. About half an hour. <laughs> oh, this is a, a video cooking guy. About half an hour. So it's been in for about half an hour. Smells delicious. Ooh, okay. Why have we had dinner tonight? Curry. That's all roasted. Now we can add it to the stock Not the pot. chicken breast. Crock pot. Crock pot. Slow so, cooker. Slow cooker, right. You're and I've also a chopped a load of veg. Oh, cool, and Meg's chopped a load of veg to go Can't wait through the garlic. You need to just put it in the crock pot. Just put it all in. Yeah. How much water? Well, pour all that juice in. Yeah. Juice. And then we'll put the veg in and then we'll cover it with water. Okay, so just literally chuck it all in. Yeah. Um, just wait for it to cool down and just pour it in hot. Just put it in, but you gonna don't splash it everywhere. How am I going to do that? I'm going to have to get some pincers. I'll get some pincers. No, you hold that, I'll pinch. Yeah, but how are you going to film and pinch? I'll film and pinch. Pinch even a word? Yeah. Pinsy, pinsy. <laughs> Do you need to... <laughs> oh. <laughs> on in me. Oh. Are you safe doing this? Oh, those long... 
pink thing she dropped earlier. Oh, that's so good. Alright, so I want all that goodness yeah, I want to go all in. Of it in. Scrape it all in. We're all about drop. The whole idea of this bone broth is to get maximum nutrition out of the out of the meat and the bones and everything. And so. collagen. So don't waste yeah, feet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that looks delicious. It looks awful. I know, but it's don't go too close. Good nutrition. Let me Hang on, I haven't finished the garlic yet. Pause it. Right, so this is this is how we make likes to do. Chop, get a bit more nutrition in the broth. Taste as well. And taste. So what we've got here, mate, we've got some carrot, celery, pepper, kale, and garlic. Mm -hmm. And sometimes a courgette. Depends how many we've got in the garden. And sometimes some courgette. And whatever, really. Put what oat in it. If you've got anything in it. For those that don't know what she's on about, because she's from up north. Midlands, actually. Okay. Anywhere north of Bristol is up north for me. Right, so now all we've got to do is add the liver. This is the proper nutrition. Don't contaminate that chopping board. Right, blood and all. Flopsy flops. <laughs> Lovely bit of liver. Now, high. turned it on. On to high. So now what do we do? We add a load of water. Yeah, fill it with water. Anything up. else? Nope. Bring a jug. We just add water and then it's just let it cook water. for all night. 12 hours. Yeah. Yum, yum. So, topped up with water. Just going to season it with some salt and pepper now. And what, what this will end up being is like a soup. Cup of soup. Like a cup of soup. That's it. Easy as that. Just chuck it all in, leave it there all night. I need the lid on. Put the lid on and let it cook. We'll come back later with the update.